sometimes we have to ask for help, and that's okay. I think the best thing we can do is to let people know boom, that each one of them is precious. Tom Hanks stars as Mr. Rogers in A Beautiful Day in the Neighborhood, which is the dramatic story of journalist Tom Junow and his interview with Mr. Rogers for Esquire magazine. And joining me right now is Tom Junow and also Mr. Rogers' right-hand man for 30 years, Bill Eisler. Hey, hey Jeff. Jeff in Vegas. How What's you going doing? on? Gentlemen, right off the bat, I have to tell you, I'm Generation X, and Mr. Rogers was my life. I was maybe three or four years old when that show started. Uh, I was the kid that came home every day to watch his show. I took my dad's cardigan out of the sweater, you know, out of the closet when he did it. I took his shoes, my dad's big old shoes. I flipped them through the air. I still remember every song to this day. I'm not wow. going to sing it for you, but it's Mr. Rogers awesome. had such an impact That's on great. my life to this day, and I thank you for being involved with this movie. So you are the target audience for this. This is wonderful. Now, Tom, this movie is based on you and your article for Esquire magazine. Tell me about when Hollywood came calling. So that was that was in, in 2014. That was it, that was uh, five years ago. And, um, you know, uh, Micah and, and Noah, Micah Fitcherman Blue and Noah Harpster, the two screenwriters, and they approached me. Um, and it was, you know, it was it was a shock. You know, I, I had I've written a lot of stories and not a single one of them had been picked up by Hollywood and the the idea that this story about this man was going to be the one that made it to Hollywood was you know I mean surprising to me um, to put it mildly but they said right from the beginning that they were going to um, you know make the movie an episode of the Mr. Rogers show for adults and that I mean they just they they sold me right there I, and and they they did exa they've you know they've done exactly that they executed that in a way that I didn't think was possible so um you know it's it's five years ago um and it's I see it now and it's just a you know it's it's quite a it's quite a a, a proud part of my life now Bill you were Mr. Rogers right hand man for 30 years tell me about the first encounter and meeting with Mr. Rogers the first meeting I was in, in graduate school, I go back to the early 70s, and he was working on a series in children in hospitals. And I was overwhelmed. Uh, he had been on the neighborhood since the neighborhood had started in about 67 in Pittsburgh, 68 nationally. And he was, he was an icon in Pittsburgh, and I, I was overwhelmed. Uh, and then to be asked uh, eight, nine years later to come to back, back to Pittsburgh where I grew up and to work with him was uh, another a great opportunity. So to be able to spend time with him, uh, both as a boss and as a friend, uh, it was, you know, it, it was just, it's, it's not something that everybody gets to do, let's put it that way, but it was a real honor, pleasure, and uh, a great, a great time. Uh, every day was a great time with Fred. Now, gentlemen, in this high-tech iPad, internet, gaming world, do you think Mr. Rogers' show would work for children today? Uh, you're competing with technology. I, I, you know, that's a really interesting question. Mm -hmm. And Fred mm -hmm. used to say that it would be very, very difficult, given what television had become and the pace of television, um, that, that it would be probably more difficult to, to have the neighborhood on. But a great story of this film, when talking to Matthew Reese about his son, uh, he downloaded a, an, an original neighborhood program for his son because Matthew grew up in Wales. He had never seen the neighborhood and he wanted to try to understand a little bit about Fred. And he said that when his son was watching the program, he looked at, he looked at his father and said, to me, he's talking to me. He's talking directly he's talking to me. To me. Yeah. And that message in, this, in, in 2019 has gotten through to a young, a young child who had never seen, his father had never seen the neighborhood. And uh, Matthew said he's now watching a lot of Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood. Now, Bill, I understand that all of the sets for Mr. Rogers and, and his puppets have all been preserved. They're there in Pittsburgh, and anyone can go visit them. They do. Uh, the, the sets are all in the History Center here in Pittsburgh. The puppets are at the Fred Rogers Center in Latrobe, Pennsylvania, which is where Fred grew up. So, yes, they're all available to, uh, for people to see. And then they were, you know, they were recreated yeah. for the movie. I mean, and they were recreated... I mean, with amazing fidelity and care. Yep. It is. The, the, the recreations are spectacular. Tom, tell me about your reaction when you heard that Tom Hanks was going to be playing Mr. Rogers in this movie. Yeah, I mean, I, I still remember the day when I found out. I mean, I remember where I was sitting. I remember where I was. I remember what time it was. It was like Tom Hanks has been cast as Fred. And, and you know, I, th I think that we all knew that, that, 
you know, what was sort of at the time, you know, we thought was going to be a, an independent movie was going to have a movie with a chance at a, at a large audience that could, you know, receive its message. So I think it was, it was, a, it was a really happy day. Yeah, and Fred really appreciated Tom's work. He, uh, when we first met Tom, we told him that Fred had seen Forrest Gump probably 40 times, one of his favorite films ever. And he, he absolutely loved the story Big, the movie Big, and he would always say that the reason Tom Hanks was so great in that is that he never lost touch with his own inner child. So I think Fred would have been very proud to have Tom Hanks portray him. Gentlemen, thank you so much for one of my favorite films of the year and uh, bringing back so many special memories. And when you have a chance, come visit us in Las Vegas. We'd love to have you. I would love to. Thank you for the thanks, invite. Thanks a lot. I think the best thing we can do is to let people know that each one of them is precious. All right, make sure you check out the original article from Esquire magazine that Tom Juno wrote. It's just fascinating. It's just a wonderful story. And also check out A Beautiful Day in the Neighborhood now in theaters. And for more reviews and interviews, just surf on over to my website at vegasfromcritic.com. I'm Jeffrey Gehauer in Las Vegas. Thank you for joining me. I'll see you next time.